Okay, you guys, it's time for some hot piping tea. Mm. So, welcome back. My name is Jovan from the Sims Community website, and today we are going to be discussing the six month roadmap for The Sims 4. So, that's right. Yesterday, the Sims team has released a roadmap for The Sims 4 and what we should expect in the coming months. Now, if you have been in this community for about a year or so, you probably know already that they've done the same thing back in April 2019, where we have gotten a sneak peek well not completely a sneak peek just a small reveal that we are getting an expansion pack a game pack and a sub pack and those were in order island living and then we have gotten Moschino stuff pack and then realm of magic now they've done a similar thing this year as well they revealed a roadmap for the game so let's first dig into the blog post that they have written so it says hey all sim guru duke here writing to you from the modified guest bedroom in my house which now doubles as my home office. It works out though since I'm not expecting any guests for the time being. The changes over the last few weeks have been hard on all of us and I want to take a moment to share some updates about The Sims 4 with all of you. First off, for those wondering, our entire team transitioned to work from home the week of March 16th. This has been a big shift but we are all so excited about the future content we are building that we have been pushing uh, through and uh, continuing to make progress. Things have been a bit slower with all of our kids and animals demanding attention throughout the day, but as always, we are here to make sure The Sims 4 is functioning whenever you want to play. With that in mind, I thought I might give you a little preview of what you can expect from us over the next six months. So they have given us this uh, image over here that you can check out, and it reveals what we can expect in the six uh, in the next six months. So over here, we of course are getting a brand new expansion pack, a new stuff pack, which is actually a community voted sub pack that people have voted on over the last few months or so so we already know that uh, the team is arts and crafts we know that the main gameplay element is going to be knitting and we have already chosen uh the objects and the clothing that we want to see in this pack so basically all that's left for this stuff pack is for us to choose uh, the pack icon and the pack name and i don't know how long are we gonna have to wait afterwards maybe a few months or so but it's definitely coming in the next six months and last but not least a new game pack what I'm interested about is if these packs are ordered in the exact release schedule so are we gonna get the expansion pack first the stuff pack second and the game pack third or is this just thrown in randomly because I haven't seen anything mentioned in the sims blog post but uh, more on that later there is still some information regarding what we should expect in the six months in the next six months in the blog post so it's says over here, we are currently hard at work on the new community voted stuff pack. I know, of course we are. I can't tell you its name because we have not voted on that yet. But I saw the list of options last week and I have no idea which one you all will choose. I'm anxious to find out. That pack is really coming together and it has been great having all of your input to help shape it. Now, in addition to the stuff pack, we are also hard at work on our next expansion pack. I'm super excited about the team the team has chosen. I think it will be a surprise to many of you, so I'm guessing that it's probably gonna, not going to be something that we have seen in the previous uh, expansion packs from the previous games. Uh, so the team has also been hard at work on some new surprise additions we plan to bring uh, to the game over the summer. They are not massive changes, but they are pr some pretty cool ones that I think you will have a ton of fun with. Another group on our team is currently working on our next game pack. This pack is a major first for us and we are super eager to share it with all of you later this year. Lastly, we have been working on some fun ways to stay at home and play together. No, we are not doing multiplayer, we want to help our community of players connect with each other and us in this time of social distancing. As part of that, we gurus want a chance to share more with you. Uh, we are not ready to spill all the details but I am thrilled about it and you will get more info soon. I want all of you to know that our team is still very much focused on building our new experiences for the game and ensuring we continue to grow and expand the sims as we listen to all of you, uh, our players. Thanks for playing and be safe. First of all, I want to express my admiration to the sims team that they 
are so dedicated and that they are pushing all of the limits that we have right now in terms of isolation and the situation that is happening today um, to deliver content uh, without any huge delay, you know? So they still have this huge six month roadmap and they are planning and they are currently working on these packs from home. So I cannot express enough gratitude to the team and yeah, just great job, you guys. Uh, like I mentioned on Twitter the other day, I wish that they've given out a few hints about which pack teams we should be expecting, but I think that they might have included some of the hints in this blog post. They don't reveal the exact team, but it is giving us some information about what we should expect. So first of all, we have the expansion pack that they mentioned over here. Um, so uh, he is super excited about the team that the team has chosen and he mentioned that it will be a surprise to many of us players. I think that what he meant by this is that uh, we probably haven't seen this team in the entire Sims franchise considering that it will be a surprise to many of us so it's probably something we have never seen before in the game and uh, yeah they did say that they uh, are not working on team parks I believe on roller coasters and uh, team parks on Twitter so it's not gonna be that um, but but it's gonna be something entirely else like they mentioned over here. Uh, another line, another sentence that's truly interesting is that the team has also been hard at work on some new surprise additions we plan to bring to the game over the summer. So this means that they are planning a big content update for the Sims 4 base game, meaning that we, are, we should also be expecting a huge uh, feature update to the game. Uh, of course, we don't know what that is yet, so I had a lot of time to think about this and and, you know, we have a brand new expansion pack that we are expecting and they added, you know, the Sims over here, a brand new game pack and they added the Sims from the game packs. Uh, but they also mentioned in the blog post that we should be expecting new content to the Sims 4 base game uh, that they are planning to release and they included a toddler and a gnome over here. I don't know if I should be looking into this way too much, but the conspiracy theorist inside of me is saying that the next content update is going to be as big as the toddlers update that we have gotten in the beginning of January 2017. So if that's the case, then bring on the summer. Uh, you know, beside the expansion pack, the sub pack and the game pack that we are gonna, gonna be getting in the next six months, we are also uh, promised a new content update. So it's definitely going to be an interesting time ahead of us. And last but not least, they mentioned that another group on their team is working on the next game pack for The Sims 4. Uh, what they mentioned next is kind of revealing, kind of not, I don't know, you be the judge of that, but this pack is a major first for us and we are super eager to share it with all of you later this year. Uh, I don't know what they meant by this pack is a major first for us, but I'm speculating that it's not gonna be an occult game pack like we have gotten with the Vampires game pack and the Realm of Magic game pack, and it's definitely not gonna be a uh, vacation slash destination game pack like we had with Outdoor Retreat and Jungle Adventure. So what they meant with a major first for us it's probably going to be something entirely new when it comes to game packs, something that we've never seen before uh, with game packs. So hopefully they're going to be bringing something with this game pack that's going to be uh, lasting, that's going to, you know, give us tons of gameplay hours and that can basically expand upon our experience, sort of like a mini expansion pack. Personally, I'm treating the Sins for Parenthood like a mini expansion pack because it does exactly that. It expands upon the entire uh, gameplay system of The Sims 4 basically and whatever this next game pack is I hope that it functions similarly to The Sims 4 Parenthood because you know that game pack has a very long lasting effect and whatever this next game pack is bring it on. Um, so they've also mentioned that they are going to be doing the stay at home and play together action with uh, sim gurus. So more on that on Twitter, of course, I'm going to be keeping you guys posted on everything from here on now. Uh, when it comes to the updates and yeah, the next six months for The Sims 4 are definitely gonna be interesting I'm gonna be keeping you guys posted on this YouTube channel as well as on our website So stay tuned for that and I hope you guys are staying home and staying safe during this 
crazy period. Hopefully this will all be over soon, but until then, at least we have something to look forward to uh, in the world of The Sims 4. So in case you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for all the latest news and updates on The Sims franchise. Also visit simscommunity.info for all of the tips, tricks, tutorials, and more if you are a new player to The Sims 4, considering that there's been a huge surge of players uh, in the last few weeks or so uh, due to the whole isolation and everything. So for all of the tips and tricks on The Sims 4, visit our website. Once again, I hope you guys are well and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!